So propane, C3H8, combusts completely with 250% theoretical air. Propane enters at standard 298, and dry air enters at 298, and products leave at a toasty 1,000 Kelvin. Determine the rate of heat transfer to the combustion chamber in kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. So our little combustion chamber, our fuel, our air, those are all our reactants coming out with our products. And we're interested in calculating this Q dot into the combustion chamber. And it's per kilomole of fuel, kilojoules per kilomole of fuel. So it's Q dot over N dot F or Q over NF. Either way, that's what we're asked to solve for. So we write the balanced reaction equation. First, get it to be still 100% theoretical error, and then we'll modify it for 250%. So start with the fuel. Leave a 1. Don't change it. Sometimes people don't even put the 1 in front of the, the coefficient in front of the fuel. We'll pick up the oxygen and in the right proportion, the nitrogen from air. It'll go to complete combustion to carbon dioxide. At this point, we can calculate the number of moles of CO2 just by doing a carbon balance. We have to have three CO2s. And then the amount of water and the vapor state at 1,000 Kelvin. It's definitely vapor. And at this point, we can even get the coefficient in front of the water doing a hydrogen balance. We see that H's only are in the fuel. There's eight of them, so we have four. And then at this point, you can go back and get the oxygen balance for 100% theoretical error. That'll be six O's from here, four O's from there. That leaves 10 oxygen. So there's five O2's. Leave a little space to modify for 250%. Come over here. When we have 250% error, we'll have more oxygen coming out. But at this point, I need to just finish out the nitrogen balance. 3.76 times 5. And leave a little space right there, a little space right there, and a little space right there. Now let's modify it. Now that we have it balanced for 100% theoretical error, let's modify it for 250. True? So if we come in and say 2.5, is that the correct coefficient? 2.5. Let's do the oxygen, or nitrogen's the easiest. 2.5. Now the hard one, the oxygen. 5 times 1.5. So there it is. Now it's balanced. That's our balanced equation for 250% theoretical error. Now we want to calculate this ratio Q over N of F. So we write our first law. And so our Q over NF minus W over NF, which is just zero, true? Just get rid of that. We don't have any work coming out of this control volume around the combustion chamber. And then it's the sum over the products of the coefficient times that enthalpy on a molar basis minus the sum coefficients enthalpy of the reactants. Well, it's the sum over the products of N times the enthalpy of formation plus any change of the products. It's going to be enthalpy evaluated at the temperature exit minus the enthalpy evaluated at the ten temperature inlet on a molar basis. Um, if you wanted to, you just say this is the inlet or this is the exit, or you put 1 and 2 if you like subscripts 1 and 2. All right. Um, I'm sorry, this is not inlet. This is um, reference. Right? Minus the sum of the products, I mean the reactants, the coefficient, enthalpy of formation, the molar enthalpy at the temperature of the incoming, 
minus the enthalpy at the reference. Did I write that correct? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, looks good. Thank you. Now, remind me, what is this temperature? 298. This temperature? 298. If it, the propane enters at 298 and the dry air enters at 298, everything, all the reactants are coming in at 298, that difference is zero. All right. Unfortunately or fortunately, this problem, it's exiting at 1,000 Kelvin. So I have to get the molar enthalpy of each of the products, the CO2, the H2O, the O2, and the N2 at 1,000. Likewise, the molar enthalpy of each of the products at 298, take that difference. All right. Uh, one thing that I can do to help is I can... Uh, uh, reduce the comp not writing all these multiplications out. If I just do this multiplication, or re let me rewrite my balance equation. I'm going to rewrite it. Hmm. Let me do this. It'll be a little cleaner if I rewrite this balance equation. 1C3H8 plus exactly how many O2s? Um, Oops, get my sheet here. It's going to be 12.502s. What's 5 times 2.5? Is it 12.5? See where that came from? Good. And then you're going to have how many N2s? 47 N2s, or close enough to 47. Goes to 3 CO2s plus 4 H2Os plus... We're going to have 7.502s, make sense, and 47N2s. So now I have just a nice integer for the coefficients. All right. Now let's continue to write down here. So sum over all the products. I'm going to do the CO2 first, 3 times the enthalpy of formation of the carbon dioxide. Negative 393520 plus the molar enthalpy of carbon dioxide at 1000 Kelvin. That one is going to be 42769. A lot of table work. You got to get into the table and pull these values out. Minus the molar enthalpy of the carbon dioxide at 298, 9364. Close for the carbon dioxide. We add to it the number of moles of water vapor, 4. The enthalpy of formation for water vapor, negative 241.820. Minus the enthalpy at 1,000, 35.882. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a plus. Then subtract the enthalpy at 298. 9904, we finish for the water. We go to the oxygen in the products. It's going to be the coefficient, 7.5, so it's a plus, times the enthalpy of formation for the oxygen, zero. The enthalpy at 1,000 Kelvin, 31389. The enthalpy at the reference, 86. 82 plus the number of moles of nitrogen in the products, 47, times 0 for the enthalpy of formation of the nitrogen, plus the enthalpy at the elevated 1,000 Kelvin, minus evaluated at um, 298. We finished the sum over all the products. Now we subtract for each of the reactants. We'll start with the fuel first. So the fuel has a coefficient 1, and it has enthalpy formation for the propane, negative 103850. 
it comes in and I'm just going to put them at zero, zero. So the change in the enthalpy is just zero, delta H, for the propane. It comes in at 25C, which is the reference temperature. How about minus for the oxygen, 12.5, enthalpy formation, zero, plus, well, it comes in at uh, 25 degrees C, so it's zero. And then I do the, the uh, nitrogen in the reactants. It's going to be 47. The enthalpy of formation is zero. And the deviation from 25 degrees C is zero. So a lot of times there is a lot of zeros, which is good. So now we can compute our final answer. Let me just kind of put it right here. Q over N sub F is calculated to be negative 6 six zero comma nine four one kilojoules per kilo mole. So there's our final answer. Sorry I ran out of room at the bottom, I had to tuck the answer in the middle, but there it is. So what does the negative sign mean? It's really not into the combustion chamber, it's out trying to be consistent with our textbook. And it's per kilomole of what? Kilomole of the fuel, each fuel, propane coming in.